know is the dual head flux dispenser built in association between Bosman Projects and Anakimia Science. This machine has the ability to take two different types of tote bags and it's fully automatic in operation. The flux dispenser and the tumbler mixer, all from the one station. Very simple to operate. All you have to do is just touch the screen and whatever you touch will be triggered to operate. For example, if you want to touch get the dispenser to operate, you just touch this button here and the dispenser will start. Similarly, the tumbler as well, you just touch the button and it will start. To change anything on the machine, any settings, times, etc., you have to have an access code which the supervisor will have and he can come along and log in And now he's logged in and now he's got access to change all this, a lot of the settings of the machine. There are different levels of access and there's different codes for the different levels. I'll, I'll just demonstrate one or two of them. For example, the statistics page, it tells you the number of trays that the machine is dispensed into and the total number of rows. This is handy for keeping inventory in the laboratory. The settings menu, provided you're logged in, you can come into this page and change the settings for the flux dispenser, for example, the speed at which the tray moves back and forth. We just log in and we can change it to whatever you want, etc, etc. And you've got various parameters that you can change. The tumble mixer as well, you can change the tumble time, the rotational speed, and various other parameters that would be necessary. We'll have a look at the equipment control page. This page is to operate the individual components of the machine. This is very handy for uh, troubleshooting and maintenance and for trading in fact. So if you want to operate, for example, I'll operate this hopper. I'll just select the hopper. It's in automatic. I'll just take it to on and then she'll move it in that way. To move, make it move back, select it, and it moves back. And you put it back to order, and now the machine's back in fully automatic mode. We go back to overview, and here on this panel, you can select how many rows on the individual trays that you want to load. We've got the option of 3, 6, 9, or 12 rows. Uh, etc. etc. And the direction you want to feed the machine from the intermediate table side or from the other side of the machine. It's just a matter of touching the screen in the appropriate spot. That's it. This is to demonstrate the loading of the tote bag. It should be noted that you do not need a forklift for this operation. You just need a pallet lifter, you wheel the bag into position. Jack it up a few notches. Clip the handles into position. And now we're ready for the next operation, which is to uh, use the hydraulic controls to hoist the bag into position. Okay, now we'll demonstrate the actual hoisting of the bag. It's done, it's a simple operation. It's done by these hydraulic selector levers. You just select the appropriate lever in the correct direction and the bag will go up. Then the next operation is we've got to move the bag across the machine from its present position to above the flux dispenser and attach it to the hopper. So 
now that the bag is being hoisted to the correct height, we'll move it across the machine using the hydraulic controls and attach it to the hopper. I'll demonstrate how to do that. Now we just go and attach the bag to the hopper. Okay. Now that we've attached the bag to the hopper, we're going to demonstrate the machine servicing a tray of crucibles, three rows in the tray. We've selected the appropriate selectors on the machine. We've removed the cover so that you can see the moving parts for this operation. Um, so I'll just move over here and select it on. We've got the green light telling me everything's good. I hold it in for three seconds. The tray moves in and everything else happens automatically. The machine will first find the tray's position. It does that automatically. It then repositions the tray directly under the hopper ports. And everything will happen. The tray is moving back in, the machine knows where the tray is. It's coming back in. It will stop under the ports, this will move. Okay. So the hopper moves back and forth to provide agitation to the flux. And then we have this stroke and we're back in cleaning the seals. The hopper moves back and forth. That in the seals again. At this point, it's dumping the flux into the cups and it comes out and they're fully serviced. So. One of the features that makes this machine unique is the ability to vary the volume of flux that it dispenses at the touch of a button. I'll demonstrate. I'll just open the sliding panel to enable you to see the moving parts. This beam will move up and down depending on the amount of flux that I'm requesting. To change the volume, all I do is press on the touch screen and see the beam is moving up, moving into a position of less volume. The amount of volume displayed or dispensed is indicated on a little digital readout there in grams. I'll take it down again. Now we're increasing the volume. The beam will move down. And there you go. The indicated dispensed volume has now gone to an increased amount. We're at the back of the machine now. I just want to indicate some components. This component here is the electrical linear actuator. This is the device that changes the volume output of the machine, increasing or decreasing it. It just moves in and out and makes these rods move, which adjusts, adjusts all the mechanics of the machine. Um, then above it here we have the vacuum selector valve. It's just a rotary valve. We select it to hopper A or hopper B, depending which one we're using. The vacuum system operates every time the hopper gets an extreme of travel. The seals are clean with the vacuum system. It sucks all the, all the leaked dirt through the plumbing, traps it into the filters at the bottom here, and at the end of every shift, you should just empty this out to recapture the, the uh, flux that did leak past the seals. This component here is the vacuum pump. It's a pneumatically driven uh, vacuum pump, which switches on and off automatically. Thank you. The last part of the operation is the tumbler mixer. This is this machine here. It's a standalone machine, fully automatic in operation, controlled by the touch screen panel on the flux dispenser. It has these two large viewport windows, which allows you to see what's going on inside there to monitor the operation. You load the machine by opening the door, sliding the tray in.
then selecting it to on. Here it will rotate in that direction for half the selected time, which we went one minute selected just for demonstration. It will then stop and then come back in the opposite direction to level position and then lower its, lower its load. It's protected by e stops, emergency kick bars, and all the doors are monitored by safety switches. It's going in the reverse direction now. It will do so for 30 seconds and then come back to a level pitch. If you were to push the e-stop now, it would not, even if it was upside down, it would not dump the crucibles. They will securely retain in position until the platform is in the level position to prevent any spillage. She's now coming back at a slow speed to level and then she'll lower the platform and you can take out the, the crucible tray. Then it tracks. And now you can take the loader. You can take the loader from that end of the machine or back up this end of the machine. Thank you. Okay, now we'll demonstrate how to remove the tray from the tumbler mixer. From the back end, just open the door, reach in, pull the tray out, and then close the door. And there it is.